I'm Anil Kumar and now we have some difficult numbers to work with. We'll do prime factorization of these difficult numbers. You may use calculator to find the prime factors of given numbers. The question is determine prime factorization of the following numbers. Use calculator. 595 and 455 are the two numbers to work with. Let's begin with 595. So when you have a number like 595, we know it is ending with 5, so 5 is surely a prime factor of this. To get the other prime factors, we can divide 595 by 5. So what do you get? You get 119. So the other factor is 119. Now 119 is also a very difficult number to work with. So we'll do trial and error. It could be a prime number also. So we'll divide 119 by different numbers. 119, let's say let's divide by 7. What do we get? We get 17. So we are successful. 119 could be written as 7 times 17, right? So now we have the prime factorization of 595. 595 can now be written as product of these prime numbers which is 5 times 7 times 17 correct now 455 you need to work with 455 now so we'll, we'll begin in the same fashion that is 455 can be divided by 5 right so so we know 5 is one of the prime factors the other one we can use calculator 455 divided by 5 equals to 91. Now 91, can it be divided by any number? Let's try. 91 divided by, let's say 7, is what? Oh, 13. Yes, it can be, right? So 7 times 13 is 91, right? So it is not a prime number. 91 is 7 times 13. It is very important to understand. So we can write 455 as 5 times 7 times 13. So that is how these numbers can have different prime factors. I hope now you understand that 91 is not a prime number. It has factors 7 and 13. So that was important for me to tell you. So I hope this video helps you to find prime factorization and also to understand that few numbers are difficult we can use calculator and get our answer thank you and all the best